This is a $30 glove made by a company that rhymes with Neverlast. And here we got a $150 glove by Fight Cam, which is in between a $400 glove by winning. So today we're gonna do a deep dive into all three different gloves. $30, around $150 to $400. We wanna know, is it worth it to pay five times more money for your boxing glove? Let's get into it. Here's an analogy. Boxing gloves are kind of like the tires on your vehicle. The only thing protecting you from the road or your opponent is gonna be these gloves. So they are essential and they're important to have really good ones. We sent our intern, Jeff, out to go get some uh, not so good quality gloves. And at first, they feel pretty flimsy. But I'm also gonna be real that different gloves are gonna actually equate to different things. So there's a performance glove, there's gonna be a sparring glove, there's a glove just there's for There's gonna training. be a glove. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what Aaron said. So we're gonna take these gloves through a few different tests. We're gonna weigh them on this little digital scale. The last time I used a digital scale was for something else, but today's for gloves. We're also gonna talk about the fit. How does it feel when we punch? We're gonna cut them open. We're even gonna take PJ's $4 winning gloves and cut them up. Thank you so much for sacrificing these. Oh, okay, oh, no, maybe man, not. Not today. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's rock and roll with test number one. Now, when you are training, you're gonna probably wear some 14, 16, maybe even 18 ounce gloves. When you're fighting, you're definitely gonna have either eights or tens or 12s, even if you're in the amateurs. So let's use the digital scale and see if the weight actually matches what's advertised. We're gonna start with the cheap Everlast. Put it on the scale here. This is coming in at 210 grams. Let me change the unit here. That's 7.4 ounces. <laughs> You don't want to get hit with these. Oh my God. 7.4 ounces, that's lighter than a pro glove that, that you would use in a fight. All right, so that's really good to know, actually. These would hurt. These the would next hurt one. a lot. Let's go ahead with the 12 ounce fight camp gloves. Those are 16s. These are 16s. Oh, well, we'll, we'll do the 12s then. Let's rock with the 12s. These are me and Aaron's favorite things to train with. Let's be real. Let's see. All right. Ah, okay. That's a Ooh, that's they're a coming solid. in at 12.3. Pretty accurate. Hey, all right. hey I'm proud of us. Not okay. Bad. Let's try the 16 ounce fight camp Go. glove. All right, let's let's see. Is this it? This is it. Let's see. Oh, okay. 15.7. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We're about 0.3 off. That's good. Not I'll take bad. it. I'll Not take bad. it. Oh. All right. Well, let's check out the $400 winning gloves. The premium gloves are coming in at 15.8. Okay. All right, so 0.2 off, we're about the same. Not pretty bad. cool. That's pretty dope, actually. I've never done this before. It's good to see that the gloves are accurate mm -hmm. as the advertised weight, because a lot of times you get a pair of gloves and you're like, these weigh like three pounds. The 16 ounces actually weigh close to 16 ounces, where um, this... I'm gonna wear these next time we spar. No. <laughs> no. I will have a concussion and I might, I might die. We don't wanna do that. Don't spar with that. Don't do that. <laughs> spar with these. Let's go on to test number two. Now let's talk about the fit of the glove. This is kind of a hard one to show you, so I'm gonna have to throw a couple punches to feel it out. Now this is really important, because when you land your punch, you wanna lay out the top two knuckles. Some of the molds on cheaper gloves, the mold is so awkward that you end up landing with the bottom knuckle, so it's like you're pawing with the glove. For instance, when I put this uh, Everlast glove on, and I throw a couple right hands on PJ here, I'm. I'm, when I'm hitting, I'm trying to find the chemistry with my top two knuckles, and it's actually really hard to find the chemistry with it based on the mold of the glove. Mm. I'm gonna do the same thing here with one of these fight camp gloves. Let me see how it feels. I wear these all the time because I teach in them every day, so I already know this is a great glove, but it's wow. just the cushion feels way better. It's easier for me to find my big knuckles. The mold is pretty quality. Last but not least, Winning, they're spectacular, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I already know the mold is sick. It's such a soft glove, the cushion's great. It feels like a million bucks. You get what you pay for. Speaking of the molding of the glove, one of the great things about gloves, like the Fight Cam glove, for instance, this is actually hand rolled foam. So it's gonna make a difference with actually how you can contort the hand. Or like the Everlast one, it's kind of forcing you to almost keep your hand open, which does not equate to a good solid punch, right? Good point. I am most excited about this part <laughs> because a few different reasons. Yeah. One, I've never cut a pair of gloves open 
ever in my life. Me neither. Two, I'm really curious. And three, I just really like destroying sh So we're gonna cut these first, then we'll go to the fight camps, and then we'll go to the winnings. Cool? You cool with that, right? Yeah, All right. yeah. Oh. about that, okay. bro. You just stop playing. Yeah, Maybe <laughs> All right, let's do the Everlast. Okay, here we go. Right down the middle, baby. Ooh, that feels good. Oh. Okay, let's spread her open. Wait, what? What the heck? This looks like a piece of crap. What is oh, this? Oh, no. Know, this looks like the material that you get when you get a package in the mail. This is ridiculous. This offers zero protection. My knuckles would pierce right through this and do some serious damage. It, it is a very low quality foam. No wonder these are only 7.3 ounces. Is there anything else in here? The outer skin, it's definitely it's like a fake, le a fake leather. Not even, it's beyond fake leather. It feels like rubber. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna get you for Christmas, PJ. Please, please You've don't, You've been a man. very, very naughty boy this I'm gonna year. unfriend you immediately. Okay. All right, well, let's try to fight him. Let's next. do something a little better. I think this will, I think this will be a lot better. I, we train with these almost every day, so. Oh, this is the first time a fight camp gloves being opened up like this. It's actually really hard to slice through because of the leather. Oh, yeah, see, quality leather. All right, let's open well, these up. This is great. All right, oh. much different here, much different. Oh, that's that's foam, that's quality foam. Substantially different foam. It's much denser, like oh. it feels quality. Uh, what, 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 what are you guys doing? I just came over. We're, we're destroying me. things. Guys, we're destroying these, are, these are expensive. Yeah, I know, but, money. but it's, okay. we're doing R&D. This is for science, science purposes yeah, here. Yeah, this is a project. Have you ever dissected a glove before? Well, as a matter of fact, I helped design these gloves with our supplier and I know that they're superior quality because they're super expensive. They cost us a lot of money to make. This is rolled foam. It's not that injection molded foam. So if you cut open a, one of those little... We did. Yeah, you did. It was garbage. <laughs> it was crap. Oh, the other thing with these is that they're handmade. So they're all hand stitched, handmade. And the foam, a lot of the foam is handmade as well. This is what you get in the Everlast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. The other thing is the leather is like really quality. It was hard for me to, to slice through this. Like it's quality. I would, I would wear this. I want to wear this to my Christmas party tonight. Where can I get a shirt with this fabric? Last but not least, let's go to the winnings. All right, here no, we go. No, no, no. You said it was for R&D. <laughs> it's a $400 pair of gloves, so we're not gonna slice up the winnings, but you can see the Jurassic difference between the <laughs> Neverlast glove and the Fight Camp glove. I'm wearing, I'm wearing these next week, dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach in, in next week like this. Are <laughs> <laughs> you ready to spar? <laughs> oh, ow. It's just, that's so cool. So there you have it. We have three different types of gloves. Now, if you want to try boxing out for the first time, you don't know if you're going to like it, sure, get a pair of $30 gloves and try it out. If you are in the midst of, again, being active and you have it within your means, spending a little bit more is not only going to give you a greater quality glove, you're going to get a better workout out of it. And if you're a professional and you want to fight in the ring, Invest in a pair of $400 winning gloves. They're sick, I'm not gonna lie. So, definitely impressed today with the Fight Camp gloves as they stack up pretty comparable with the $400, $500 gloves. It's actually $500 gloves, just putting that out there now. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know when we drop videos just like this one. Maybe Download next the time. Fight Camp app too. You can train with your boys, Tommy came through. If you wanna work out at home, check out the Fight Camp app. Maybe next time we'll cut up your winning gloves. <laughs> about that. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Peace.